Hey, there we go. All right, I'm wanting to just show some results of some of these splits I've been doing. Um, ha, ah, there goes my camera again. Um, so anyways, you know, there's been two new processes of either splits or swarm prevention techniques I've done this year. One of them being a Daymarie, which I'm incredibly, I'm amazed by that uh, manipulation. That thing, it is uh, probably like the most convincing, truest form of an artificial swarm that, you know, out of all the other ones that I've seen or heard, uh, that one really does seem to convince the bees that they swarmed. And that, uh, I mean, everything they do, their all of their traits and behaviors lean towards that direction. Like they just did swarm, literally. And uh, it's been so powerful. I haven't lost a single swarm this year. And let's see, I've probably performed four of them, maybe five this year. And I've had zero issues with any swarming at all. So I'm super impressed with that and people need to start bringing that up more the Daymarie artificial swarm without an upper entrance if you want to make queens though man put an upper entrance in a Daymarie you'll have more queens than you know what to do with you could start a whole nother apiary just out of the results from one hive because you have this great big strong hive making all these queens for you and stuff so and I mean, you just amplify the power of the hive when you do a Daymarie. So I love that. That's one of the best things. And then this uh, throne split or where you move the queen with the split, that has shown me so far this year about how powerful it can make both hives. There's benefits, even from the donator hive, there's benefits to it. And, uh, so, um, I'm going to go, just go through a couple here real quick. Um, cold queen sent to Sullivan. Oh, that's last year. 528 split with queen NRC. Okay. So on 528, here is a throne split. Let's just see what this thing looks like. Okay, now this throne split, you know, we need to talk about this more too. <laughs> I haven't really heard of too many people, I mean, people might be doing this, but it's not common. It's not a common practice, and nobody talks about it. And it's like, if you want some bees, if you want some strong splits and stuff, you know now let's let's see if we can't find this queen too um yeah this thing's really packed it's it's fully packed anyway and it's not like it's overflowing but the weather is nice today all right so how many foragers are out right now <laughs> you get my drift so let's go ahead and Watch out, lady. And I think this NRC queen, this is some of those genetics from, uh, now these aren't like any uh, of uh, New River honeybees. Uh, it's not his... Ooh, yeah, look at that. She's got drones. She's got everything on this this frame right here. Um, but this isn't any of the artificial insemination queens. These were just virgins that I bought off of them. But, I mean, you could tell that the queens, they're the, the perfect... Uh, they look like Carney Owens. I mean, when I say that, I mean like 
the top half of their abdomen is like jet black and the lower half is kind of like a gray looking and I think this is one of those queens like just a really good example of a carniolan so that's how tight those genetics are from uh what country is that um slovenia yeah the slavics i guess and that's just south of germany like between Germany and Italy. <laughs> so, they're probably some kind of mountain bee, I'm thinking. And I'm, I'm impressed with them. Between these Carnicas and the Russians, man. I mean, they just... Uh, So who thinks we're going to have some swarm cells? Okay, as soon as I see this queen, I'll, I'll start taking some close-ups of this, of the frame. But, until then, things are, I'll be editing this a lot, in other words. Dead center of the frame, easy merging. Okay, just uh, just in case for those who have not seen any merging drone, there you go. Look at them. What a cutie pie. Man, oh man. Okay. Happy birthday, buddy. It's a 4th of July. You're a 4th of July bee. Yep. All right. Wow. Took me long enough, huh? Can you see her? She's being pretty hidden. Well, you sure can't tell she's a mated queen because she is clinging to that comb like nobody's business. She's underneath all the workers and just kind of nicely and calmly hanging around. So, okay, well, anyways, back to business, back to the point of the video. Um, this was a huh. I'm hearing something buzzing over here. Okay, so this was a, what I call a, a throne split, and I mean, I don't think it's been a month, but look at all these frames, they're all full of eggs. It's only a five frame high, or five frame nuke, but still, I mean, it's, it's so strong and there's no hive that could, you know, the force of bees it would take to to uh, overcome this hive would be incredible. Um, it's probably time for, you know, to add some space onto this hive now. So I'll probably get around to that very, very shortly, like in the next day or two. So All right, so that's the first throne split that I could really show you, like, any results of that hasn't been manipulated in another way since I made the split. Because, see, like, right now, I could snag this queen out of here and move her into another hive again, you know? So, and then let these bees make their own queen again. See what I mean? Very powerful. Um, and once again, um, on 528, I made a split with the queen from an NRC hive.
So it's been just over a month. 